Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm so excited for this one. Um, at the moment, Apple has a student discount or a teacher's discount on MacBooks. And if you purchase a MacBook on iPad Pro, you get a pair of Beats for free. And I did that. I think it's like, today's the 25th, I think tomorrow the 26th is like the last day of the campaign. Um, I think to do this every year. And my computer kind of crashed on me, so I needed a new one, so I took advantage of this offer and got one. Got a certain inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar, and uh, I got some accessories to it. Um, so yeah, let's dig into it. Alright, well, first thing to open are the beats, and I'm just going to get my scissors. I got the ones that are sand, desert sand, I believe the color is called. They're a little bit goldish. And, um, oops, I got the So here is the box and it looks really cool and that's the back side and the top. This is the Studio 3 wireless um, in desert sand. So this is the back stage fellas. Um, maybe first thing first, um, pull this out and it might be easier to open. I love the presentation of the packaging. It's really nice and it has the Beats logo in gold. Ooh, nice. It says here, change the way you hear sound. So we're gonna pull this little tab here. And here is the case for them. It's kind of like hard, hard case, um, which I like. And if we look in here, there is another tab here that we're going to pull. And in here we have the Beats paperwork. It's just like looking really nice. And let's see what's in it. It says Beat Studio 3 Wireless. Oh, Beat Stickers. <laughs> Love that one. Um, that we might want to keep and then it's warranty papers and stuff. So, um, always good to keep these in case of something happen. Um, and then we also have in here, I don't know if you can see, but it's this little hanger that you can use with the case so that you can have it on your belt or something. Here is a cable uh, if you don't want to have a wireless they have a microphone and I mean if you do music and make music and record music you might want to have a cable um, for the microphone or podcast or things like that. And then we have the charger, uh, which is a USB charger. So that was like what's in the box. Um, 
So yeah, really, really, really nice presentations of it. Um, I really just thought it was a really nice presentation. I'm gonna put it back together. Put this away. And now to these. Oh, we had a really nice, um, I don't know if this is water resistant, but the zipper seems to be pretty much covered up. And here they are. Oh my God, they're so pretty. And it says Beat Studio 3 wireless. And then it has the Beats logo there. And then on the side here you have like uh, where to push the buttons and then here down here you have like where you charge and stuff and it says charge me up and then it's volume and stuff so oh my god I can't hear much these are pretty much you know sound cancellations like the background noises and everything so um these are really good i'm gonna use these a lot oh yeah here's the little top for that little hanger thing oh my god these look really pretty i really love them but i'm i'm gonna take it off now because i can't hear i can't hear anything um, but no, these are very nice and it will go with my iPhone XS phone. I have the gold phone so that it will look nice together with it. So I'm going to put them back in their little case. And now to the big unboxing. The MacBook Pro 13 inch with the touch bar. All right, here is the big package, and um, let's do this. Let's unbox it. Oh, there's polling tab here. Very nice. Ah, look at that. Oh my God, it's so nice. Here it is. Oh my god, so excited. Wow, and I got the MacBook Pro 13-inch 128 gigabyte storage and 8 gigabyte RAM, I think it's called. It's like the base model. And I saw that I'm not going to need my scissors anymore because they have this pull tab here. You just pull. I love that sound. God, look at it. It's such a beauty. Okay, now to the moment of truth. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I got the space gray, by the way, um, they have base gray and silver, but I figured since I have a MacBook Air in silver, I wanted to go 
with something different. Okay, so we're gonna pull it up. Oh my god, it's actually much lighter than I thought it would. And uh, it's pretty thin. It's actually just 120 um, uh, gram since I'm in Europe. Um, and uh, uh, heavier than the MacBook Air, but I added a lot of photos, movies. So I wanted to have something a little bit more. So we're gonna put it aside. And let's see what else is in the box. So, first thing, we've got the paperwork uh, that says designed by Apple in California. And here we got the like quick startup guides and of course, we got our Apple stickers. So, always keep the warranty papers and stuff. I always keep the boxes in case if something would go wrong or if I need a, if I need a warranty and stuff. I always keep the paperwork. Then we have the USB-C charging cable. Um, I've always had the, like, the MagSafe cable since I had a, like, an old MacBook Air from, like, 2014 or 2013. So, this is my first Apple laptop with the USB-C. And then we have the power brick. And, um... We also have the European standard wall plug that's going to go with this. So, let's. I love that sound. Let's fix this one up. See, where do you open this one? <laughs> I don't even know where to open it. I don't think it, I don't even know where. There we go. So I'm gonna put these together. Um, there is an option to buy like an extendable, extended um, cable to go with it. Uh, if you don't want to have like the wall plug like this, uh, you can buy a longer cable. So this is the charger. So great, I'm gonna put this box aside. And let's set up the Mac. All right, well, let's get to it. I love that sound. There's nothing more satisfying than pulling off plastic of a new Apple computer. Oh my god, look at her! Oh yeah, um, the Apple logo is no longer it's no longer um, the glowing logo. It's more like mirrorish. So, and it's pretty thin, as y'all can see. So, all right. Well, let's open up. Oh yeah. By the way, um, I'm in Sweden, but I prefer writing in English. So I ordered. A MacBook with an American English keyboard. So let's open up. Oh 
my god, it's turning on. That is so freakish beautiful. Look at that. And it's a new generation of keyboards as well. So it's actually starting off pretty fast. Oh, and um, okay, I'm just gonna start this one really quick. Drücke den Zeilenschalter, um Deutsch als Standardsprache zu verwenden. <laughs> okay, it started talking to me. Um, I want to have English. Let's see if we can get English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Okay, I'll press the return key. Okay, setting up. So, and... Okay, um, I want to have... Jeez, where am I? Oh, by the way, this trackpad on this one is huge, but I really like it. It's really comfy. Um, I want to have you know. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press the command key while you press Touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. To learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, <laughs> tap Escape at the left end United of the touch States. bar. Um, I want to have United States. Continue, and I want to have English, U.S. And I'll be right back. I just have to type in my Wi-Fi password, so be right back. All right, so I'm setting up right now, and it's very exciting. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, what about Siri? Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the document folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the day, rest of my day look like? Okay, I guess hey Siri's ready. That's nice, it feels kind of weird to like, hey Siri, like, yeah. Um, okay, files in iCloud. Yeah, well, why not? I mean, it's a good thing. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, right. This computer also has Touch ID, which is real cool. So I'm going to set it up right now. Place your finger. Okay, Touch ID is ready. This is really cool. I think that might be how you turn this thing on. Um, Apple Pay. Uh, okay. Let's see if this one works though. Yes. Okay. Oh, um, I have 
to have my phone because they asking about something. Uh, they ask about, I'm setting up the Apple Pay right now, but I have everything in my phone. And, uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> I think this is really exciting. I haven't I haven't done this yet. Okay. Let's see if this one's okay. Okay, done. Oh yeah, this computer also has a, um, uh, it has this dark mode that was in my hobby and it's really, really cool. I'm going to turn the computer over without dropping it. So this is like the options. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the dark mode and it looks like that If you do the light mode, it looks like that, but I mean the dark mode is good for your eyes So I think I'm gonna go with the dark mode. I'm gonna turn it around again so that I can see what I'm doing Yeah, and true tone display is also one thing that's really good because if I have poor light it'll it'll light up better and then if i have good light it will you know turn down the lights on the screen so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and this is the most exciting part it says set up your mac setting up your mac love this the first check is out the second one and the third and here we are lovely um i'm gonna go check if i can download the um if i can download the final cut pro that i have but first i'm gonna close this computer i bought a few accessories along with it so I'll go fetch it and I'll be back in a second. All right, so now I'm back. I purchased these items off of Amazon. I can try to put links in the description below. And first thing, I got this um, case. Um, it's like turquoise. And it's really, really soft inside so that it protects your Mac. And I also got a tinier of this that is like this big and it's for like the charger cables but I think I might have left it at work so I can't show it to you right now but these are really good then since there is no USB ports or SD card readers uh, on this computer I got this USB-C hub and uh, it's also from Amazon and let's see if I can open up because I mean you will need this if you're vlogging or uh, taking lots of photos like I do um, and this is really um, really small and easy to uh, tag along um, so yeah let's have a look just gonna get rid of um, so this has this space gray color and uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little hang on come on why doesn't it come on? Yeah, um, so this one, 
has uh, HDMI, three USB, and the USB C, and an Ethernet. And then it has on this side, it has the SD card reader. This is um, a brand that I haven't heard about, but I think it will go just fine with my computer and it has this USB-C connector. Um, so this will come with me every day. And then I bought a, um, like a cover hard shell cover and it's designed like a composition book. I'm gonna zoom out a little, sorry. That you don't see. So this is designed like a composition book and it has this on the front page uh, from start and then it's like see-through on the back and it's for the, uh, so that it won't get overheated. And I also think it has the uh, keyboard cover as well. So let's see if we can open this up. Need the scissors. Hang on. I'll also leave a link down below to this case um, in the description box. And. So this is like the front. I think it's a really nice color too. And I think it's always good to protect your computer from scratches and um, and if you drop it, it's, it's not gonna end well. So this is the front. Oh. Um, says welcome and this is case star it's called the brand case star and yes it did came with this keyboard cover and luckily it's black so I might put that on don't know what this one's for and this is the back so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on so that y'all have um so that y'all get an idea of how it snaps on oh bigger um Oh, now you can hear the little clicking sound. So this is the back. And you know, all the ports is still free. And it has this headphone jack still. But that's the back. And now I'm gonna put, this is the front of it. Let's see if we can. Here we go. Very nice, I say. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. And I'm also gonna put the keyboard cover on. 
it's thicker so that it's gonna stick to your keyboard and maybe you should place it on the right one place it on the right keys <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, I don't have to type in the password every time I wanna, if it's locked. Um, I don't have to retype the password. I can just press my finger to the, to the um, touch ID. And this is how it looks with the keyboard cover on it. Feels really smooth and very nice actually. So, this is it for this week's vlog and I want to thank everyone for watching and please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss out on any videos so y'all have a nice weekend